The Ohio River is expected to remain above flood stage until Sunday, so that means spots along the river will be underwater until then. And it has some people asking why the dams upriver don't hold back some of the water that's coming through. Local 12's Christian Hauser is here now to show us what those dams can and cannot do. Hi, Christian. Hey, Cami. just to be fair, those dams do hold back some water, but it's only enough to allow river traffic to safely pass through, including barges like the one you can see off in the distance. We just heard it's blow its horn as it went under the suspension bridge, but these dams are not part of the area's flood control plane. The Meldal Dam is about 40 miles southeast of Cincinnati. It's letting the river water pretty much pass through right now. They're not designed for flood control. They're only built to a certain height because if they're built higher, they would flood. They'd back up the water and flood out more of our communities. So again, they are designed to be run of the river structures. And that's, again, the water comes in, the water goes through. As you said, it's pretty much level on both sides. There's really no capacity to hold back any more water. The dams throughout the Ohio River are only designed to keep the river open to commercial traffic like barges. Before they were built, the river could get so low, ships couldn't go any further upstream. There's about a 30-foot water height difference between the Meldal and Markland dams. Think of each dam and lock as steps boats use to make their way up and down river. There are dams and reservoirs in the region designed to fill up and hold on to heavy rainwater and then slowly release it so places don't flood. West Fork and East Fork, those are, uh, for us, smaller reservoirs. Uh, and they help local flooding. They really don't hold back much water for the Ohio River. Uh, most of the water that falls in this area goes uncontrolled into the Ohio River. The only protection communities along the river have are levees. They were built based upon what happened in the 1937 flood here locally. And so they're all designed to hold back waters up to 80 feet. Uh, bottom line, all of the projects are functioning as designed. So think about it like this. If the Meldal Dam was designed to hold back water in a flood control type of manner, it would back up water well beyond it and flood that area. If the Markland Dam, which is downstream from us, was designed as a flood control device, it would back up much more water into our area. And you can see here on Riverside Drive in Covington, this is the high water mark from where that river crested between yesterday and today. And we got several folks who came out to see just how high this water is. Everyone uh, pretty pretty amazed by how high this water continues to get, even with all these flood control devices, the levees along the river. For now, though, live in Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. All right, Christian, thank you. Markland Dam has been in operation since 1959. Meldal went into service in 1964.